Hello everyone, uh, in this video, uh, I would like to show you how to do data acquisition using uh, FTK Imager and DD. Uh, this is part two of the video, so if you haven't watched my uh, part one uh, video tutorial, please uh, do so you can understand uh, this one. Okay. Uh, before I start with the, the tutorial, I just want to make sure that uh, when you run Windows 10, uh, you have a D0, right, which is the operating system, this one, and then you have the, the other one is a demo drive, which is a test drive, which is only 50 megabyte, right, 50 megabyte. So in this C drive, you have two, okay, actually three. Okay, let me show it to you. So in this PC, you have C drive, which is the operating system, and then the ISO file, right? I will provide the ISO file in the Blackboard and the test drive, okay? If you haven't formatted, if you cannot see this test drive here, make sure you format it. Go to the disk management and format the E drive because we are, we are going to use this uh, spare uh, partition uh, to do the image all right okay uh, so you have the ftk manager here right the ftk manager program if you haven't installed it please do install this okay from uh, part one video and here we have a dd right dd tools all right okay so now uh, first we need to create a two file here right we are going to create a two file. Uh, let me see. Uh, hold on, okay. Hold on. Okay. So here we're gonna create a two file. The first one is right click uh, text document. I'm gonna name this message me dot txt right this is just a text messages sample okay i'm gonna save this and then you have another file which is right click text document i'm gonna say delete it delete it delete me delete me dot tx delete it file delete it dot txt okay so i'm gonna click here this is a sample of delete delete it file all right okay so now in my desktop, I have two files, right? Message me and delete it me, all right? Uh, so I will delete this one, okay? I'm gonna press delete and it will go to recycle bin, okay? All right, so what's the second step? The second step, we're gonna run a PowerShell as an admin, window PowerShell admin, okay? We are going to run this command. We're going to run this command and then we're going to run this WMIC. This drive list brief slash format dot list. Okay. Format list. Okay. I have a typo here. It's supposed to be a colon. Okay enter now as you can see that we have two partition right the first partition and the second partition this is the this is the original partition which is the c drive uh, that con that con uh, have the have the operating system in it right this one is a larger uh, partition this drive that has an operating system on it and this is the one that we created a dummy hard disk, right? This is a dummy hard disk. 
is called physical drive one, right? So we're gonna make a note of this. I'm gonna highlight this and control C because we are going to use this one, all right? All right, so once we run that, we need to go to CD. I'm going to go to the CD. Uh, CDC, right? Backslash users. Uh, backslash as who see backslash desktop right if you see this ls my dd is over there so we're gonna go to cd to dd right so i'm in the dd directory folder right now okay so i'm in the dd directory folder okay so from here we're going to copy the, the image, right? So the command for that. So let me see. Uh, so let me see. The command is. The command is. Where is it? Uh, the command is. Uh, dot slash backslash. Okay dd.exe uh, input file equal to slash slash remember we copy the partition so here we go so we have this one dd execute input file physical drive one okay and then output file where we gonna put the output file equal to output file equal to C backslash window underscore evidence. Let's put this one evidence evidence right. All right. So we're gonna press enter. No uh, block size equal to five one two k. Size and progress. Okay, so that is the comment, right? Enter. Oh, I have a typo here. So let me find out what's the problem here. Uh, let me find out here. DD execute. input file output file C okay I think C here I have a problem here C colon here notice that I have to be careful when I type and then enter all right boom there we go now I make a copy right all right, so we finished this step. Let's go to the next one. So I just want to recap, right? First, you create two files and delete one of them and run WMIC command as a, power, as a PowerShell admin. Make sure you are in the admin privilege, right? And then we need to go to the DD directory and then copy the file using the DD to the C drive, right? Because we're going to name this file as what you call this windows.evidence, right? So if we go here, we see that the copy of that, if we go to C drive, you can see that today's is on the 21st, I have a window evidence here, right? On the 21st of March, because I made this video in today's date, okay? So let me pause the video and then we continue. Okay, once we finish that step, we need to go to FTK Imager, okay, this one. If you have not installed the program, make sure you install this. Okay. I'm installing and then we're going to go add images, file, 
add evidence right we're gonna go image file click here and look for the the window evidence here right the window evidence the window evidence and finish okay now we see uh, once you add images to the FTK imager let's go to the root let's go to the partition right this is the test drive images that we may copy so let's see if we go here right uh, this partition root here we go to the root notice that we have messages.txt right this is we we created these images and also we need to go to the recycle bin remember we deleted the files so this is the deleted file uh, we have it where is it here the deleted file is the deleted file is in here. Do you see this? Here we go. This is the deleted file, right? Here they show you deleted file and this is the path, right? Delete me txt. Delete me txt. All right. So you have this one. So we can find this thing, right? And over there all right so let me see let me close this one let me close this FTK image I'm gonna add evidence this the physical no no not that one we get to go to the image right this is the one that we just create this one on the 21st right notice that i already did that before too a few days ago right so we're gonna use this one we're gonna use this one and then finish window explorer go to the partition ntfs and then on the root go to recycle bin there right recycle bin here we go. You have this one. Why uh, this is hexadecimal? No, I have to use this one. Let me see. I need to use this one for at evidence item image for. Choose this one. Eh? This is under hexadecimal file. Hold up for a second, okay? Then, okay. When you click this recycle bin, right? Make sure that you choose this one file list because if you go to hexadecimal value, it will show you a different thingy here. Here is very important, right? Here, show header. Make sure you choose this one, the file list. That way we can find out this one uh, the deleted the this is a deleted file right you see that this is a deleted file text yeah go to the text here go to the text this is a deleted file and this is the delete me is the reference right is 
is the location file path specification. So if you go to hexadecimal, it show you the hexadecimal, but it's better to go here and go to the file so you can see a little bit better, right? Okay, so this is how you use the DD tools, okay? Um, so let me pause again.